How's it going guys? Back with another update on the Voltaxic vs. Assassin. But before I get into the crazy changes that I got to today, I want to go over my Atlas passives um, that I'm planning for SSF. I'm going to start in Hayward Kamlik and work through each of the regions. So there's no other guaranteed way that I can farm essences outside of Hayward Kamlik, and that goes for the same for legions. So my first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Um, controlled corruption which I have and amplified so that I might be able to get more essences um, and I need access to those corrupted essences that can only come from corrupting actual essences so I'm going to need these um, I want the 10% chance for to contain ritual altars out of here I don't really care about played in blood um, but it does give a 100% increased chance ritual altars with special rewards so maybe that's what I do um, getting all, all four of these, and then the other one will be the Grove's Call. Um, absolutely. Um, uh, nature's favor, like, even having it, I've not noticed, like, getting less common crafting options, but, um, maybe at some point I drop this off if I have everything I feel like I need from Rituals, and then go up here in Nature's Favor. Um, June stuff, I don't really care about, I'll do that in another region. Turn's End is what I'm gonna do my four Watchstone Conquerors in. Um, that is so that I can farm Abyss Jewels, getting Underground Kingdom, Buried Riches, and Lightless Legion. The so Lightless Legion is important because it gives Abyssal Depths plus three to monster level, and that means I can acquire uh, up to item level 86 Abyss Jewels, which are required to get certain mod tiers on those Abyss Jewels. So I want a region to farm that in. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get that which you seek, or a chance to can contain a myriad delirium. I don't really care about um, the incursion stuff or the Einhar stuff, or or greater forces or singular eternity. So the other thing I'm going to do is get the simulacrum splinter stack size small nodes here. In Lex Proxima, where I'm currently farming conquerors, I'm going to get invading force first gatekeepers, and then within their grasp. This is going to be the region I farm breaches in. Um, Ash and Wood being in this region um, as kind of like the bridging uh, to the next tier of maps is nice because this is a great map to farm breaches in. And then beyond that, I'm going to get Sulfite Infusion. So I can run these maps and gain Sulfite without needing the master missions um, in that process, and then just completely nix the idea of farming uh, harvests in this region. So this is going to be Breaches and Nico. Lexajorus. I'm going to get all the incursion stuff time and again, time dilation, um, making all enemies at least magic. So the rewards coming out of them is a lot more. And I don't know what Evolved Flesh Merchant is, but I'm going to get this as well. And then beyond that, like the Metamorph stuff is fun, but um, I'm going to get Pathological for Chance for Delirium and then get Persecutory Delusion um, so that I can try and farm the unique Cluster Jewels off of uh, the Delirium bosses. Now, down in New Vastir, this is going to be the region that I'm running all of my Legion stuff. Um, my build is not great at clearing Legions currently. Um, that is due to the fact that the frozen legion mobs do not explode, so I don't have the, like, clear ability out of it. So the increased, uh, duration on them is going to be really nice, and then chances to drop timeless emblems instead of splinters is going to be really great. And then since I'm going to do the Nico stuff in Lex Proxima, I'm going to get Total Anarchy and Rogue Trader. So down here, um, I have a chance to get these rogue exiles that have extra rewards which are pretty pretty nice they're like legion rewards on rogue exiles so that is going to be new vastir i got abyss stuff elsewhere and i have um soul fight stuff elsewhere though mad devotion is really nice um for the chance to get nico missions on map completion um could be a trade-off for rogue trader so glint cairns i mentioned this yesterday Tamper proof is the thing I wanted most here. It's the only thing I really care about out of this region is the chance to be able to farm corrupted strong boxes for chances at six links so I can farm divines and potentially useful six links. 
Um, what else I'm going to do here, since I'm going to do legions down here, I'm going to do incursions up in Lexajoris, is I'm going to fill this with the Beyond stuff. So that I can farm Beyond in here. Um, maybe this is a zone that I'm just like cruising. This is where also where Canyon is. And I get Strand here as well. I get Peninsula. All of these are great big open maps. Great for like Beach even. Like this, this is a great region for farming um, Beyond. And additional basic currency off of them and then you're getting increased experience off of beyond mobs so that's nice as well so now there's a lot of stuff involved those rest that's great first two nodes i grabbed were the chance to get june missions on completion and then i'm going to get test of loyalty and gut instinct this is going to help me um flesh out my veiled mods and be a way for me to farm masterminds to get mastermind uniques it's a great source of uh, scarabs off the mastermind and safe houses is the only way for like double breach stone upgrades and easily adding mods to items and stuff so that's what i'm gonna do first and then i'm going to get the harbinger stuff so i have a use for harbinger scarabs and this is where i like i want harbingers not to farm ancient orbs or anything i want these to be able to farm annulment orbs because annulment orbs are really useful but not very plentiful so i i want to farm harbingers in this region to get those and then the last thing i'm going to get is probably a 10 percent chance for a blight encounter 10 percent chance for metamorphs is also nice um but if i wanted to invest in metamorphs i'd probably invest more heavily into it um because high yield's amazing um so his repeated experiment. So I'd, I'd probably want to go all in on this. And that I'd have to drop the Harbinger stuff for that. Um, so it's going to be June, Harbinger, and Blight. Then on to Lyra Arthane. A lot of people like to farm breaches in Lyra Arthane. But I'm not going to do that. First thing I want is Animal Companion and Natural Selection. So I can farm my Einhar missions here for a chance at more rare beasts. Um, this will give me access to um the unique beast mobs um and their unique gear set that can only come from them um so i want these here and then i want secret stash and inside job increased chances at getting blueprints a chance for them to be fully revealed more like rogue markers out of this region is great um, the more rogue markers you get the less contracts you have to run to run your blueprints so I definitely want these, and then I will get Spores on the Wind for just uh, map drops to have a chance to contain a Blight encounter on them. So that's all of that. I don't have access to the middle one yet. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Um, those are a little bit harder to get, um, but that is the Atlas plan. So now... Uh, let me pull up this screenshot today. I I cleaned out Tujin. Um, I didn't I didn't I didn't spend everything I had. I didn't grab like I didn't grab everything that he had. I just grabbed things I felt were valuable and that I needed. Um, I grabbed every fusing offered to me, and I grabbed every scouring offered me, to me as well, um, because you can never get enough fusings in SSF, um, and scourings are. All, I'm also having trouble finding. Um, and those are needed to run heists because you don't want to run those anything but white and they like to drop rare and they're harder that way. So I got those, I got a bunch of breach splinters. I got a couple fossils. Um, but my highest tier map at the time of doing this was a T7 yellow map. And I pulled a Phoenix map, a T15 burial chambers, a T12 phantasmagoria and a T11 forbidden woods. Like that's nuts. I got 23 chaos. Um, these th this three stack of indigo oils was useful, which I'll show you for a second. I got an 83 um, level 4 demolition heist, uh, some scarabs, 20 quality frostbite, which will probably have some use in the future, um, and a decently rolled um, abyssal, but nothing too amazing there. But I got a lot of nice stuff out of there. In the end... And then I didn't fully clean out uh, the rerolls on ROG. I spent like two hours in here just messing with like crafting gear. And I was like, I need to like farm and like keep pushing my Atlas and doing stuff. 
I also ran a bunch of heist contracts. I didn't get finished. So by tomorrow, I'm going to do as many blueprints as possible. Um, I still haven't gotten a wand upgrade, so I want to get into this enchanted armaments. Uh, not that one. So I have two enchanted armaments heists. I want to run those more than anything um, because I want to like get a chance at finding a wand um, or a dagger. Anything that is a better wand than this. It's pretty garbage, in my opinion. It's got cast speed, flat lightning, and spell damage. I need, I want plus one lightning. I want bigger spell damage. I want cast speed. I want crit multi, then the lightning to spells, like in that order. So there's a, there's a lot missing on my want. But speaking of rog, um, with him I crafted this nuts amulet that has spell damage. Crit multi, T1 life, and an open suffix. The rarity is cool. Gives me more uniques and more rare rare items. Um, it's just pretty disgusting, I think, for an SSF uh, amulet. And then those three indigo oils that I mentioned allowed me to upgrade to my second violet oil. Um, I could use to get Claws of the Pride. It takes one amber and two violets. Claws of the Pride, um, I anointed because I wanted as much cast speed as possible on anoint. And when I scoured the tree, I found claws of the pride. It's a claw node, but you get 15% increase attack and cast speed if you use the movement skill recently, which benefits both my shield charge and my cast speed when using shield charge, incentivizes me to use shield charge more, which gives me fortify more often. And it's just like, that's probably like one of the best things I could actually get um, without like maybe getting Heart of Thunder for the lightning damage and lightning pin, but that takes a gold oil. Um, Divine Judgment's also a solid one, but I didn't have a black oil either. But I, I am I am very happy with the Claws of the Pride anoint down here. So then also, I got this shield. This shield wasn't anything special at the time I got it. Um, It had mana instead of life at the time, and it had intelligence um, as a suffix. And it still had the lightning damage, it had the chaos res, and he gave me a chance to upgrade a mod, a single mod to its highest tier, and he upgraded the spell damage to its highest tier. So, then it's like, okay, I have a six mod item, I used my Anul Orb that I got from Tujin, giving me the 16 um, splinters of that, and the Annulment Orb removed the intelligence. So then I had a um, a lynx and bestiary that can add a suffix, remove a prefix, and the prefix it removed was the 60-something mana on it. It added stun and block recovery. It gave me the chance to craft life on this, and now this is usable shield for me um, that was an upgrade from the previous shield. So there's one other upgrade that I got. I found a lightning mods delve node, and I got a conductivity on hit ring that came with life. Now this is nothing, nothing special, um, but like there's no open suffixes on it. So like, this is just really nice to have because it, it decreases my need to um, stop casting the Voltaxic Burst to cast Norb of Storms, causing that gap in there. Now I can clear more smoothly and just like shield charge and Voltaxic Burst pretty much at all, always now. And I, you can see here that I've removed Intensity. And I still haven't replaced these gym sockets because I'm lazy. But I replaced Intensity with um, increased critical damage support for the crit multi. Um, since I'm getting like 100% crit chance essentially on enemies on full or low life, I felt like, okay, well... I want to one-shot stuff if possible, so maxing the crit multi is probably a best-case scenario. So I threw that in. Um, I like that a lot better, just having the static AoE. Like, my AoE is still great because I've invested so much into it on the tree. Um, but for these gym sockets, what I was thinking here was I want to get an Assassin's Mark to throw in here. And then maybe a Vol Cold Snap. I might even have a Vol Cold Snap. Um... But what I want here is I want a trigger wand. Um, 
who automatically cast the Wave of Conviction, automatically cast the Cold Snap, and automatically cast an Assassin's Mark. So, I, I actually, that's probably not the best case scenario, having a Conductivity on hit, because um, it's just going to override it on an enemy that would be hexproof, so it's probably not the best idea. Um, I've heard it's Siphoning Trap, but uh, I don't know. Um, and down here, I want to put a Vol Haste, I think. Um, just to have a Vol skill, something to use. Um, and it's also more speed. A Lightning Golem would also be a solid choice here for more cast speed as well. Um, increased Duration was recommended uh, for the Steel Skin and the Enduring Cry, which is also not a bad idea. Um, I wish I could get like cooldown recovery on this. Um, I think I'd need... Yeah, an alt quality gem for that but yeah that's the upgrades here i need to flip these gems actually oh oh i i mean i gotta do this here all these are level 20 we need to corrupt these see if we get level 21 gems and then the show and tell stuff go nine percent quality that's an improvement 19 20 19, 21. These two will get flipped. I will level 20 quality ones. Um, there we go. Now I have a 20 quality. And then these will all be saved to um, like, like this arc I mentioned yesterday for harvest that can give me like store gem XP in them that I can use to level empower and light and enhance. So I'll, I'll deal with fixing that later. And show and tell stuff. Is I got a second Kikazaru. I got a Soul Mantle. I got a Coward's Chains. So like I've got a totem build. Just like already almost built here. here pending a linked um, Soul Mantle. Um, which I could probably 5 link right now. But yeah. That's got me uh, my gears spinning. Um, this automatically curses you with vulnerability, but damage of enemies hitting you is unlucky while cursed with vulnerability, which is pretty nice. Um, I would like to get this upgraded if possible. That'd be sick. Um, from a level 50 heist, I got a 6 link totemic maul. So I got a level 56 link. First 6 link that was not a tabula acquired. Um, from Rog over there, um, since like, he's giving me a higher item level stuff, higher item level that I can acquire... But I got, he influenced this Archon Kite Shield, so I have a Redeemer Archon Kite Shield. Um, it's not rolled amazing, but it's something that I might use Harvest Crafts on to try and roll an, a nice shield here. Um, I got a Voltaxic Burst Damage Profit Crown from Heist. Um, it would need rolled, but it's also a potential replacement for this. Um, because at some point, like I'm just going to like want as much damage as possible possible um it just keep get keeps going up and up but my biggest downfall right now is this wand um i also got a fizz damage taken as lightning helmet from my lightning delve node um that's also rolled nicely with life could also be a replacement for here that would give me a lot more survivability i really want a six link replacement for this chest I'd, that'd be huge as well for survivability purposes um uh, I got a Kossary's Will. I love this chest. I still wish it had life. Um, gives me additional curse. You can hex, hex proof enemies, which I love. Um, poison chance. I, I might find a use for this at some point. I got a Joffrey Sanctuary, which is always a nice uh, option to have uh, for a chest piece. I got Combs Roots, and I got a Rot Gut. Like, I've toyed around with the idea of you trying to use this flask, but I don't have as guaranteed um, frenzy charge generation I would, as I would like to use this. Um, this could give me a replacement for my Onslaught flask. Um, give me more Onslaught uptime as well. Um, but I need better frenzy charge generation, which if I could get a pair of Blood Dance boots would be amazing. That that removes the cast speed I Attack and cast speed I get from Frenzy Charges, but it gives me 0.8% life regen per Frenzy Charge and a chance to get Frenzy Charges on kill from that. If I if I could get those boots, I'd work those in 
um, and switched to using a rot gut over my current Quicksilver. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd lose... I'd have to lose one of my immunities here. So I got freeze, burning, poison, corrupting blood, curses. I, I need all of those things. So that's that. Um, I think that's just about everything. Passive tree, I pushed down to herbalism. I pushed up to throat seeker. I dropped the intensity node because I dropped the intensity support gym. Um, I currently don't have these two notes here. Uh, I will keep filling those in until I'm like maybe getting like these two node jewel sockets that I have access to. Um, I pulled out of blast radius to get throat seeker because it was just better in damage overall. So I still have this AOE here if I want to spec back into it. But I, I there's more to gain by grabbing throat seeker. My crit multi is currently up to offense. 559. Pretty nice. 17% on uh, Chaos Res. Still not elemental weakness capped on resistances, but... Uh, with Rog in this game, I can, like, I need another annulment orb. 33% chance to make these, like, stupid boots to have. So... Next Norman Orb gets used on these. Um, for sure. And that would that would give me some uh elemental weakness capped for sure. Give me a lot more gear freedom elsewhere as well. So that's gonna do it for me for today. Um tomorrow, I'm running blueprints. I need to run logbooks again too. They're just stacking up. But I also, like, there's so much stuff, like, side stuff that's, like, pull me, you want to do this. But I'm also just like, well, I want to push up into red maps and get my atlas situated. And... That's tough. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot more of a grind. So, that's going to do it for me today. Hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.